So a lot of us, you know, a lot of you guys that are watching my videos, you're getting displaced yourself, you know? I was displaced, you know? I didn't want to necessarily leave the US. A lot of you guys don't want to leave where you're leaving, um, but you have to, you know what I mean? We, you know, for whatever reason, either A, you are getting genderfied yourself, or you are the gender fire. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In this episode, we're gonna be taking a nice little bike stroll through the neighborhood. In fact, let me show you where we're going. We're basically gonna be taking Calle 61 all the way through the heart of its centro. But I digress. And this episode is gonna be airing on both channels. I'm gonna be putting this on my regular channel first because I still have the Oaxaca series that has many episodes to go on my Mexico travel channel, you know, so or my, just my travel channel. So, you know, all the links are down below. You want more information, just check out my website. I mean, you already know. I always leave this for the end of the video. But anyways, back to uh, what we're going to be talking about today. So, in today's episode, you know, we're going to be talking about all the changes that are happening, you know, here and that are happening all over the world but basically here you know that's what you guys are mostly tuning in for you know the changes happening in mexico merida in the yucatan and all over the place out here so again let me show you again on the map let me show you again on the map where we're going to be going down okay so we're going to be literally just crossing all the way through at Centro. We're now, so let's see, there's gonna be some traffic on this street, um, but we're gonna be going down Calle 61, so Calle 61. And we're just gonna go straight through the heart of the center, through the heart of El Centro, uh, through El Zocalo. Um, I literally uh, need to do something all the way on the other side of El Centro. So I was like, let me take another route. Let's uh, go on another route. So if you guys like these kind of videos, you guys can watch these videos on the travel channel. You know, I post I post these kind of videos all the time over there. Um, if you're watching this on the travel channel, you already know what's up. You know, um, first episode, this should be one of the first episodes back after the Oaxaca series. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, like on, my, on this channel, you know, we talk about all kinds of other things and it's like a day in the life and you know today you know i really couldn't film much about the rest of my day just been too busy um so what we're gonna be doing is that i'm just gonna be showing you um the bike ride portion of my day um because I'm, we're gonna be doing double duty on this episode where i'm gonna be you know showing you the way you know to my destination and then the way back you know we're gonna put it all put it, put it all in one giant episode so i can show you guys more of the city or as much as I can in the in the, in the process but you know the reason why I'm actually doing more and more of these I've even been recording a lot of my Uber trips and I'm gonna start uploading those soon um, because the city's changing just like pretty much everywhere we are all around the world is changing drastically and um, this ain't no different out here so especially in this city and wasn't made apparent until it wasn't really made apparent until we went to uh, Oaxaca. And when we went there and uh, we came back and we noticed, you know, so all the changes that are happening out here. And, um, you know, just things make a little bit more sense as to what's going on out here and stuff like that. You know, when it comes to, uh, you know, when it comes to, uh, you know, why everything is locked down out here still. You know, why everything is still, you know, we're still on the curfew. Um, things are still locked down to a certain extent um, and all that stuff. You know, and then they're taking the virus out here very seriously. And it's basically, again, you know, what I've talked about many episodes where, you know, it's um, to war against the poor. You know, this whole area here is uh, very highly desirable. Um, you know, not just the Cancun area, which is all the way on the other side of the Yucatan, but this is the Yucatan, literally. You know, so this is also very highly desirable. So, with that being said, um, now, now with what's going on, as uh, 
you know, because of uh, the whole um, virus situation, you know, they've been using that as an excuse in order to uh, continue with um, their plan to make this a first world city, a uh, an advanced city, a, I don't necessarily want to say a smart city, but definitely uh, heading in that direction. Oh, I want to see something real quick. I'll make sure I'm recording. Okay, okay, we're recording. Sorry, it's a little, it's really, really bright. It's like uh, two o'clock in the afternoon, I think. So anyways, all right, so, yeah, you know what I mean? So like, there's a lot of changes coming to this place. So, you know, we went to Oaxaca and like all of a sudden we're like, oh wow, wait a minute. This out here is still old school. Yeah, sure, you know, it's uh, very uh, hipster ish you know what i mean a lot of hipster vibes and you know a lot of uh you know growth i'm sure um but no way you know what i mean you can't even compare um to what's happening out here you know out here is a lot of massive growth and basically the way i'm putting it is that if you are if you're if you're an expat that is looking for not much change in your way of life you might want to be in Merida. But if you want a little bit more of an authentic Mexican experience, you might want to look in other parts of Mexico. And that's it. Everyone's different. But, you know, basically, we're going to be talking a lot about this today. You know, just uh, everything that comes off my head. But, you know, basically, they're, they're turning this city very, very quickly into a, a city that is going to be very expat friendly, if you know what I'm saying. You know, very... Um, you know less of the vendors on the street and more of the you know the radio shacks and the walmarts and the costcos and uh that's it and so there's a certain kind of individual out there mexicans included um but a certain individual out there you know which uh again it could be any nationality any part of the world that would prefer um to live in a in, in a world you know in, in a city filled with first world comforts you know comforts when I was in Oaxaca, I cannot get a GoPro battery. You know, when I was in, uh, <laughs> when I was out, uh, you know, when I'm out here, I can, I can literally go to 17 stores and get a GoPro battery. That kind of things, you know what I mean? So, and this city's changing a lot, you know, because it used to be where you couldn't get a GoPro battery. It, it used to be where you couldn't get a lot of things and things have changed dramatically in, the, in recent years and even more so in the last few. Um, so, you know, with that being said, you know, if you're looking, you know, to live in Mexico um, and also, you know, not change your ways much, then this place might be for you. But if you're looking for a more authentic uh, Mexican experience and uh, you don't mind, uh, you know, changing your ways a little bit for the better, you know what I mean? Again, just going with the experience, you know, that whole thing, um, then, then maybe other parts of Mexico. You know, also, this city used to be one of the, this area, this city, this whole everything, you know, Yucatan, Manny, the whole thing, used to be a very, um, very accessible financial place, you know what I mean? Meaning, it, was, it used to be pretty cheap, you know? For, um, for a good majority of the time, um, for, for, I mean, for a good, for, for a long time, you know, this city was actually very, very, accessible and cheap to live in but in recent times and uh, you know in the recent few years things are getting more and more expensive out here for many reasons it's because it's becoming a very very highly desirable place for people coming out here with dollars meaning that they they you know it's uh, has a lot of comforts for people coming out here with dollars and euros and things like that you follow So, yeah, so we're, we're going through like the heart of its centro now, you know, we're getting close to that. So not so bike friendly out here, but it is what it is. So we're going to be seeing a lot of the changes, you know, a lot of the changes, you know, um, right now literally you know that as we're, as we're biking around that's why i chose to take this route as well so you guys can see you know um some of the things that i'm talking about so you know so this city is quickly you know becoming 
a city that is uh, again catering to a certain individual more like a luxury looking individual now it doesn't mean that you know you got to have like a, a like you know you got to be rich to be here no 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 not, oh, let's see if we can take this all right hold on can we all right yeah Woo. all right there you go. So, there, let's just skip through all this here. All right, hold on. Good. Man, the ropes. And I, I, that's what, okay, so look, look here, we're gonna see one of the changes coming up right now. So, you know, they're making traffic more difficult through this part of the city by adding these, uh, these things to the side here you see these uh these uh tree stumps things so look all i'm saying is that this city is growing and not every project is going to be a success um not everything is going to work you see like the vendor all the way to the left there you know you remember in oaxaca or if you're watching the oaxaca videos you're seeing that the vendors are all over the place they're all over the street. Even, again, especially in this area of the city. Out here, the vendors are gone. You know, they're, they're being replaced by inanimate objects. They're being replaced by very fancy locales, very fancy hotels, restaurants, shops, and, and so on and so forth. And, um, you know, for the most part, you know, you can still easily access it. You know with your with your budget you know especially again if you come in with dollars or euros or what have you but the reality is is that as it gets more expensive it's also getting more and more difficult as well for even you coming out here um, especially if you have uh, only just a few bucks or euros to your name or whatever currency you know wherever you're coming from so you know this city is becoming you know very quickly into like a Miami or what have you, you know what I mean? In which, uh, you know, the city is, yeah, uh, the city is becoming less accessible to the average common man and uh, more accessible to the high rise luxury individual out there. Yeah, it's like, I want to pass, but it's like, I can't, it's like hard, you know, you see like, I don't want to be uh, an incident. But you see how like this guy is like kind of like parked on the side here. I, I don't, I'm not quite sure if this is legal or illegal now. But there's a lot of changes, a lot of rules. You know, now all of a sudden there's like all kinds of changes and rules and regulations for even people on bikes, on bicycles like me. And I could go on and on. You know, so. But yeah, I see less and less vendors. You know, like those and more and more other things. But the city is uh, slowly and surely getting back to normal. And uh, we'll see how all this pans out. You know, a lot of people keep asking me, it's like, oh, how come you change your plans? You know, why are you not moving out to the middle of nowhere? Why are you this? It's like, whoa, I mean, we're still looking, we're still searching, we're still doing all these things, but sometimes things just don't work out. Um, and um, in this case, I'm very happy that, you know what I mean? Things are going the way that they're going at the moment. You follow? So I'm not, not that worried. You know, um, I'm actually now, instead of focusing on moving out to the boonies, I'm focusing more on exploring Mexico. And um, just by going to the first place, which was Oaxaca, I'm already very thoroughly impressed. And I can't wait to see other parts of uh, Mexico, like Chiapas and, and Campeche. Um, namely those two, because those are the next two on our list. You know, um, but yeah, we've heard many wonderful things about those places and uh, and that's it you know what I mean like we're not leaving here anytime soon we're gonna stay here um, in Merida um, at least a year and then uh, you know in the meantime we're gonna be traveling and seeing what's out there and then you know once we find our place wherever that might be we'll go there we'll go there but in the meantime you know we're just gonna be you know, enjoying the sights and sounds. And as things are opening up more and more, you know, we're also gonna be going to, start to go into some of the tourist sites out here, start exploring some of the the views out here, start, you know, showing you guys 
you know, more of the Yucatan and more of Media while we're here, you know, so, you know, just showing you all kinds of things. Not just showing you what I'm showing you now, which I've shown you plenty of, but just showing you all kinds of things. So, you know, again, this, this, uh, this video is uh, going and the reason I'm really putting it on both channels is because again this is really like a day in my life you know I'm here you know contemplating as to whether I want to stay here or not as much as I love it here it might start becoming a little bit I don't know too restrictive too expensive to all these things that I, I don't know I'm like I'm not gonna be paying more to be more restricted for that I just stay in the US or wherever the fuck you know so just things like that but plenty of people out there plenty um want all these new restrictions who want you know certain uh, laws in place you know want certain protocols you know want you know just certain things see look, look how difficult it is now me i gotta you see how like how difficult it is for like the taxi driver as well you know so it's like i'm going as close as i can to these things on the side without hitting them and so is the car on the other end this is supposed to help traffic and pedestrian whatever but again i don't want to get into all that i really don't care anymore you know what i mean like um i've been watching this channel i've been i watch a lot of channels i'm gonna make an episode on that soon you know but i wrote down i've been writing down all my channels and things that i watch and i know you guys are interested so but one of the ones that i would like is nomad capitalist you know he's a great great channel i love that guy and anyone can watch him it doesn't have to be very high income level people anyone can watch him he's amazing but yeah long story short you know, I love, I love, 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 love what he says, his uh, quote, his motto for his business. Just go where you're treated best. That's it. Don't be making no frills about it or anything like that. That's it. Just go to where you're treated best. And so, you know, depending on you, you personally, that's going to be very different for everybody. You know, and that's it. You know, and so, so far, I'm, I'm still treated very great here. Everything so far here is still good, still wonderful, you know what I mean? Besides just a few things here and there, again, nothing's perfect. But at the end of the day, you know, if I'm, me and Christian are out there exploring and looking and seeing and all this other shit, and we see other places that will treat us better and give us a better, you know, um, alternative, um, then that's what we're gonna do. And that's it, you know what I mean? But remember, there's many things there's many, many things in play here. One thing is being the weather. I know for a lot of you guys, you guys cannot handle the heat out here. I know, I get that. But for like, for me and Christian, a weather like this is pretty ideal. We don't want it too cold, you know what I mean? So, I, I mean, I, I, it's just, you know, personal preference. So that's like one of those things that even though we might find the city that's like super crazy amazing, but it's negative below 20 half of the year, that can't really be our home, you know what I mean? So it's just things like that. Um, a place with uh, lots of heat like here, for sure, definitely can be our home. So, just things like that, you know. So many things, it's not just the heat, but again, you know, uh, you know, uh, what, whatever you might call personal freedom, personal liberty, um, that's very different, you know, meaning to everybody. And, uh, you know, again, you know, just for me and Christian at least, you know, we are, you know, for sure, one million percent, um, at the very least, you know, uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I was thinking about something else. Anyways, yeah, yeah. So, um, but yeah, you know, there's many things that count come into play. And um, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you know, Merida is starting to become more like the U.S. and Canada and all these other places and other parts of Mexico are becoming even more Mexican. You get, if, I don't know if that makes any sense. And so that is basically what's, you know, uh, the main uh, thing behind our decision making here. You know, where, you know, thank God that my wife also wants to live very anarchistically and um, for the true meaning of anarchism, you know, meaning leave me the fuck alone and I'll leave you the fuck alone. That's it. You know, that's all it really means. <laughs> so everyone else twists all these things into, you know, meaning whatever the fuck they want it to mean. But at the end of the day, it's all it means. All right, so we've already turned. We're on 76 now. And we're just going to go a few more blocks. And um, that's where I got to go to my appointment because I got to go pick up some something. 
I know I love being so vague, you know, leaving you guys uh, you never know what I'm doing on these streets. <laughs> Anyways, so all right guys. Um I'll see you when I get there because I gotta find this place. So I'll talk to you later. I'll see you guys on the flip side. We're gonna continue this conversation. Uh, I promise this is this. See you guys in a bit. Alright, yeah guys, I realized I made the wrong turn. That's probably why you're seeing the same thing over again. Not that deja vu. Um, so yeah, I gotta keep going a little further. But it's just because I wanted to say one thing as a segue between both places because I know I'm gonna forget by the time I come out. And this is it, you know, either A, you are getting genderfied yourself or you are the genderfier. And that's it, you know what I mean? So in this case, a lot of the people that are coming out here are doing the genderfying. Um, and they are displacing a lot of the uh, Mexicans and they're moving out to places like Campeche, Chiapas, and uh, further into the Isthmus. Um, wow. Um, you know, everyone else here, you know, that's coming in with the money is going to be populating this area. So you might come out here with your measly retirement and think you're living it up. And before you know it, you know, you're barely surviving out here too. Again, who knows how long that'll take, but, and I don't want to fucking scare anybody, but this could be a possibility because things could get very expensive because there are parts of Mexico that are very expensive. So it's just something to think about and something to consider. And at the very least, be prepared that you might have to move in the future if you do choose Merida, all right? And that there are plenty of locations around that are great. Um, you know, just as good or better and uh, undiscoverable. And, uh, you know, we are going to be taking you, um, you know, on a tour, you know, of the rest of Mexico and seeing what else is out there. And uh, so you guys can make a decision for yourself on what's best for you. Because, uh, you know, this channel is quickly turning into just Mexico content instead of uh, Medina, Mexico. So, you know, that's what we're going to be focusing on, you know, since, uh, you know, there's all kinds of things that are intertwined and everyone, uh, everyone out here you know can uh cross utilize and use and, and, and all that good stuff so all right guys okay now i think we are getting close to the place so all right i'm gonna leave it here and then uh we're gonna continue this conversation this very long conversation on the other side of this yeah sorry you got distracted by that food man this shit looks smell good all right talk to you guys later we're back on the road back to heading uh now we're heading back home um gonna be taking the Somewhat of a different route ish. Whatever. Anyway, so let's just uh, get lost together. <laughs> All right, so back to what I was saying um, about, you know, uh, just getting displaced. So, a lot of us, you know, a lot of you guys that are watching my videos, you're getting displaced yourself. You know, I was displaced. You know, I didn't want to necessarily leave the US. A lot of you guys don't want to leave where you're leaving, um, but you have to. You know what I mean? We, you know, for whatever reason, you know, maybe before the. You know the virus situation maybe because of the virus situation you know it doesn't matter you know uh, a lot of you guys same as me we have our reasons for leaving and um and so you know that's it and so that's the same thing you know a lot of people in this area that live here you know yucatecans people from merida mexicans in this area you know they're you know also looking to to leave or upgrade or move whether it's to another part of the city to another part of the state to another part of the country and vice versa you know there's a lot of other individuals that at one time were coming out here and still are so you know there's a different kind of people now that are coming out here from mexico other mexicans are migrating into merida and other you know uh, people that migrated here already are moving back or other people from this area are moving away and vice versa. So there's a lot of things like that going on, but this is not just here. It's all over the world. Basically, wherever you are around the world right now, you're going through some sort of situation the same. I mean, right now, even if you're just in the US, how many people are leaving California to go to Texas or Florida or whatever, you know what I mean? So there's like a lot of things like that, you know, where there's all these changes that are happening you know all over the world and uh you know you're watching these videos for many reasons you know some people are watching these videos because they're looking to move out here they're looking for information some of you guys are just pure entertainment um many 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 reasons but at the end of the day you know one thing that is remaining constant is that 
the same situation that you guys are in, the same boat that you guys are in at the moment, I am also in. All right? Because I thought, because I thought I found home, I thought I found the place that I wanted to be in and all this other stuff, but I realized that, you know, out here, it's the same thing. You know what I mean? Like in the sense of like, you know, I started to love it out here. You know, I just wait for you guys to go. Yeah, this guy's like right behind me. Just go. <laughs> you fuck, bro. You know what I mean? Like, anyways. So at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, depending on, on who you are and what you're looking for, you, you know, you have different needs in mind. So, you know, even when I came out here, you know, I had different needs and those needs were met. And now I got other needs that I want to take care of. So for example, you know, um, I love it here, but I don't know if it's going to be our permanent home. Same thing, you know, Christian, we're both in the same boat. We don't know there's going to be our permanent home. So in the meantime, in the meantime, and I got to figure this out, I think. Anyways, but in the meantime, you know, we're going to be exploring to see what else is out there. As we explore the rest of Mexico together, um, we will all decide together, you know what I mean? As to whether, you know what I mean? Whether you want to be in Merida or not, but whether you'd rather be in Oaxaca or Campeche or, you know, a Veracruz or wherever the fuck will you go? You know what I mean? You already know. So we're going to be looking at all kinds of places. We're going to start traveling a little bit more. But again, it's all from a different perspective. You guys already know how I do my videos, what I talk about, how I talk about it, you know, and so on and so forth. And, uh, you know, that's the whole fun, you know what I mean? That we're going to be exploring together. We wanted to explore the world as well, but we got it. That's a little bit more touch and go at the moment, you know? We don't want to be dealing with certain things, like I'm sure some of you guys don't either. And so that's why we're just limiting our travels to Mexico at the moment. Because we just got to deal with shitty airlines and that's it. <laughs> as opposed to, you know, dealing with the other shit you got to deal with on the other channels. I mean, on the other, uh, on the, on the, you know, going to other countries, you know, going to other countries. You know, which is, you know, again, you got to take the test. You got to go through, take a test. Then you got to get, you know, another test, you know. And you got to prove, uh, you know, uh, the, the quadratic equation. You know, you got to do all these things just to get into countries nowadays. So, um, and that's it. So, you know what I mean? We're... We're looking around, you know what I mean? Remember that we are on a budget as well. You know, um, you know, my channel is not like a travel channel. You know, we just do other, we do travel channel, but we do other things. But at the end of the day, you guys, you know, they've been following me long enough. You guys know that, you know, basically both my channels, you know, are just my life, my story, my, my journey. And you guys are coming with me and that's it. And that journey takes many shapes and form. Um, in fact, I separate the journeys a little bit. You know what I mean? I have part of one journey, you know, part of my journey on my channel, you know, my, my journal, my life, you know, which is what you're probably watching now. Um, and then uh, the travel channel, which is a little bit different. It's uh, a little bit more, uh, you know, well, basically the, what you're looking at now and uh, the topics that we're talking about now and all that stuff. So, you know, that's it, guys. You know what I mean? Like, so, I mean... The reason, you know, I'm, I'm talking about this, and I think I'm going to be talking about this more, but I just wanted to at least start making a video about it because this is something that's affecting both my channels, both the whole my whole life, you know? Just like it's affecting your life, you know? I thought that I wasn't, I didn't need to move per se. And again, it's still up in the air. I probably won't move at all from here. You know, remember, we're still out here in Mexico, and you guys already know my rent and my utilities is under 350 bucks a month. So, my rent and, um, and my utilities for the house are like around 350 bucks a month, give or take, all right? And basically, at the end of the day, I'm not, I'm not, you know, looking to change that. I know it's cheaper elsewhere, but what am I really looking to save? 50 bucks, you get what I'm saying? And so, right now, I'm okay here. There's only one thing that is driving me insane, which is the curfew. Other than that, I really don't give a crap, you know what I mean? It doesn't even bother me anymore. The curfew is the only thing that's just a pain in the ass, because it just is. I don't want to get into it. You guys figure it out, if you haven't already. Um, but the curfew thing is just the worst. Other than the curfew, I honestly don't give a crap. And even then, the curfew isn't necessarily a bad thing, because I know it's crazy safe from 11.30 at night to 5.30 in the morning. You know what I mean? Take it for what it is. 
So, and so yeah, man, there's like a lot of changes that are coming out here that I don't know. I don't know even if it remains uh, cheap per se, if I'm gonna wanna stay here. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know because like, it's like all this extra added security, all this extra added uh, everything. You know what I mean? Like for example, we're supposedly living in the safest city in all of Mexico, but part of everything that they were doing in the whole transformation last year during the, the virus was that they were adding, you know, helicopters and planes and uh, fucking uh, and uh, and boats, you know, navy boats, you know, to the by, by the way, all this to the just the local police, you know, the local police getting a super giant uh, major upgrade in equipment, major upgrade and all kinds of everything. They built a giant intelligence intelligence agency out here. You know, they're going fucking full throttle. You know what I mean? Like, bro, get out of here. For what you know what i mean but you know i don't want to get into that again that's all part of the whole maybe this is turning into a smart city maybe they're trying to fucking you know what I mean? make this into a you know an example for other cities around mexico on what can be done and what they want done and um and, and again you know what i mean like i'm I, you know i have the advantage where i'm seeing it all happen right in front of my eyes and so do you guys you're watching it happen as well and uh what we're gonna do is that as all this you know materializes you know we're just basically you know all, all we're gonna do is just you know figure it out like if all of a sudden this is a place that you don't want to live in because you know of all these measures you know all this extra added security all these extra you know rules and regulations you know the fact that it's getting more expensive it's becoming less authentic like you know the right in front of you you're gonna be seeing less and less of that and you're gonna be seeing more audis and fucking um you know um harleys and you're gonna be seeing all kinds of shit like that so it just depends on what you want and what you know what you want to do and where you want to where you want to live you know for me i don't want to live with all these rules and regulations i don't want to live um in a place where everybody has like a lexus or an audi um and things like that you know i don't want to live in uh in places like that i just don't you know what i mean not that there's anything wrong with that you know um but it's just me personally i don't i don't want that i i just stay in miami for that you know what i mean miami, i mean are you kidding me miami's a million times fucking better than whatever the fuck's gonna happen here but that's like, I don't want to, you know what I mean? That's not what I want. And that's not what everybody wants. Some people want that, you know? Plenty of people want that. There's plenty of people that want everything nice and clean and sanitized and, uh, and packaged nicely. And, um, and um, you know, first world country-ish, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? And all that is more expensive as well, you know what I mean? Like, it's just things like that. You know, some of you guys care about recycling more than anything else, you know? Out here, they're recycling, you know, a lot. And doing things like that, you know what I mean? And so that might matter to you, might not matter to other people. And just so many things like that, I can go on and on. So, I know that I've talked about on another episode how this is becoming, becoming a first world city. And I was, you know, literally driving through a similar area, you know, in basically the center of the city, which is where I'm driving now. Um, and I should be taking you to the north, and I will, I will at some point, you know what I mean? But I just don't live there, and I don't hang out there, you know? And before you know it, this area is gonna turn into that, you know? So don't worry, it's coming, like it or not. And so, you know, that's basically it, guys, you know what I mean? Like, in, in that sense, you know what I mean? Where, you know, this city is, is gonna become like a playground for the rich at some point, um, just like the rest of the Riviera Maya, just like the rest of, uh, you know, the whole Cancun area, the rest of the other side of the, the Yucatan, you know, peninsula, you know, over there in Quintana Roo and stuff, you know, I see it's gonna be different out here. So like, if you're familiar with Miami, you know, so for example, if you go out to um, an area like, um, like, uh, you know, the Cancun area, that's more like Miami right now or something, you know, Miami. But like this area, this area eventually is gonna turn, eventually it's gonna turn into like West Palm Beach, Mauro Lago, it's gonna turn into like those areas, you know what I mean? It's gonna turn into like St. Petersburg, it's gonna turn into certain areas like that, you know what I mean? Where there's money and influence, you know? Just like, again, certain parts in uh, in South Florida that are very, very rich in influence and have money and only a certain amount, and only a certain kind of person is allowed in that area. I see, I think that that's what this is gonna turn into. And um, and then, and that's, yeah, you know what I mean? So like, I don't know, man, you know, to me, I, I'm right, as, as all this is happening, I'm enjoying it. You know, meaning I'm not enjoying the process. I definitely don't want that, I hate that. But I'm saying I'm trying to enjoy as much of the city as I can. I'm trying to enjoy as much of the state as I can. I'm trying to enjoy as much of all this as I can before it goes away. You know what I mean? And it's already going away. A lot of the, the little things, the little, a lot of the customs, a lot of the many, 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 many things that make this area so awesome and unique and amazing. All that is going away. You know, a lot of, um, you know, a lot of the, the, 
the old you know it's a lot of the out with the old in with the new and that's what a lot of that is happening here where in a lot of parts of mexico yeah they'll get rid of the old i mean they'll, they'll bring in the new but they won't get rid of the old here they're getting rid of the old i don't like that you know what i mean and so just because you get a a, a 500 year old building and you repurpose that building you know this is like uh the the police gym next to me Sorry about that noise. But anyways, just because you get a, a, like a you know, 300, 500 year old building and you repurpose that into a Starbucks, that's not, um, you know, that's not keeping um, the old, um, you know, with you. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're, all you're doing is that you are, uh, you know what I mean? You're, you're basically just erasing the old and keeping the new. So, you know, it's just like a lot of things like that. So at the end of the day, you know what I mean? They're gonna replace all that, you know, and they're gonna keep all the, the Yucatan stuff and all the Medina stuff and all that stuff, but it's gonna be more like Disney World, you know what I mean? And uh, and that's all coming down the line. So like in the in the meantime, you know, there's still time to enjoy this area um, for what it is. There's plenty of you know areas to enjoy in the whole Yucatan, not just in the city as well. And um, we're gonna be showing you as much as we can, you know, on our adventures um, while we're still here. Because again, we might stay here forever, or we might not. You know, we might, as we travel all around Mexico, we're gonna find all kinds of awesomeness, and uh, we might just go out there. Remember, we have a lot of things that we gotta keep in mind here. You know, we, at the end of the day, we might explore all of Mexico, see all of Mexico, and yada, 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 but because of what we do for a living, you know what I mean? We might have to stay in a city like this. You get what I'm saying? Because we need access to all of the things, you know? First world access stuff, you know what I mean? And it's just the reality of it, you know what I mean? So we're just gonna keep it real and, um, you know, and just keep it 100. Because as much as we were like, oh, let's go to Campeche to, or let's go to like, uh, you know, uh, Chiapas in the middle of nowhere and yada, yada, yada. It's like, well, I mean, you know, is that gonna be feasible for us per se? You know what I mean? Um, and that's it, you know what I mean? This is basically it. So, but you know, we'll see, we'll explore all that together and it might be feasible. It might be all right to live in the middle of nowhere and still have access to everything. Which is, I get the feeling that that is gonna be the case, to tell you the truth. So, it's just that, um, you know, you gotta like, uh, just figure it out. And that's what we're gonna be doing, figuring it out. So, you know, I, I'm excited because I know a lot of you guys watch my channels um, for information on doing exactly what I'm doing right now, which is the same thing, which is basically, um, I'm, you know, we're exploring and looking for, uh, you know where we're treated best and so you know i keep i keep going back to that because again depending on who you are and what you want you know it's going to depend on what you're looking for so you know out here if you want to use a lot of credit cards you know this might be a great spot for you you know what i mean but again if you want to use a lot of cash it's also a great spot you know what i mean um if you want to have be very close to the u.s you know meaning do you want to be close to the u.s and you know certain politics you want to be close to the u.s and certain uh and just a lot of the and a lot of things you know customs rituals whatever you know um that are going on right now in the u.s um you know maybe this is for you maybe not you know what i mean so it all just depends you know there's uh you know mexico's huge um there's a lot of people here there's a lot of states a lot of customs a lot of things to see and that's what we're going to be doing you know, um, that's basically it. And I'm, I'm very excited. Um, the Oaxacan trip has only, you know, the Oaxacan trip has only cemented, you know, the fact that um, no matter what, we want to travel and we want to explore and we want to see the world and we want to keep living our amazing lives. And um, things just keep getting better and better. And so we just keep, you know, doing our thing. And that's it. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, now going back to my regular channel real quick for a second, you know, um, yeah, I'm at a point now where it's like, there was a meme I saw the other day where it's just like, um, you know, basically somebody, you know, with uh, just somebody, you know, like in a picture and uh, the world burning behind them. And then they're basically saying, you know, the way I feel right now, you know what I mean? Like I told you so, and that's it. I mean, I'm basically, you know, as everything is uh, ch churning, you know, as uh, all of a sudden Dogecoin, is the, the coin as all of a sudden they're talking about these things called like nfts and people are like what the fuck are those i'm like man i've been talking about that shit for years and all the things that are going on with the economy you know with politics with the world you know it's like you know 
I'm done predicting the future. I honestly don't give a fuck. Nobody listens anyway. Let me just keep doing me and enjoying my life. And uh, man, best decision I've ever made. I still talk about those things. You know, we got the podcast. You know, we got you know we got this channel where I bring some of these things up from time to time. But at the end of the day, man, you know, like I've told you guys many times before already. We're already past that point, you know what I mean? If you guys ain't putting your plan into action, if you guys are still there spinning your wheels, I don't know what to tell you, you know? You guys should at the very least be having your plan into action already. And uh, whatever plan that is, whatever plan that is. And so that's for us included, you know, we're in the same boat. You know, where, you know, we're putting our plan into action as well. And that's it. And so for us, it's very different because we do have day jobs, you know? My day job is, uh, you know, the YouTube channel, believe it or not, you know? And a lot of the things that I do, um, man, those two people in that car look like they were like 12 years old, driving the driver and the passenger. Anyways, <laughs> but anyways, I digress. You know, you know, me and uh, Christian, we do have day jobs. You know, she paints. You know, right now she's incredibly busy because as soon as she got back from Oaxaca, she already has two clients, two major clients, and we're working on all that. And uh, I mean, she's working on all that while I'm working on. Again, I gotta edit all the videos. You know, I'm starting to prepare for you know figuring out our next trips and all that bullshit. But again, it's just, you know, the fun part is the actual, the doing it, you know what I mean? Not the planning and getting it all together. So uh, it's kind of fun too, but not really. <laughs> but yeah. And so, you know, right now I basically had to go to that centro. I had to go, uh, I was going to go in an Uber, but I said, you know what? Let me go on a bike ride. I need to get some exercise. You know, um, I went to an orthopedic doctor recently, a brand new one, fucking amazing. I'm going to be putting him up on the website. Um, for anyone out there who needs an orthopedic doctor, that is amazing. You know, balls to the wall, the best. And so, um, I've already referred a few people to him, so he's great. Anyways, long story short, you know, um, he told me what my problem was with my feet. And basically, you know, what I need to do. And so I just gotta like do leg day pretty much almost every day. I gotta like exercise my lower body a lot more. Which is fine, which is fine. I mean... I've always done that, you know what I mean? I've always been, you know, lower body over upper body. I gotta do both, bow, but. Um, but yeah, basically my knees are shot like I already knew, and uh, that's it, just fucking dealing with that. But it's okay, I don't need no surgery, I don't need nothing. Just uh, gotta stretch, gotta exercise, you know, gotta strengthen my, my trunks, and uh, that's it, basically. And uh, I mean, a little life update there. So, I know today's episode, uh, I wanted to fill it with some more awesome, fun stuff. But basically, you know, all I'm doing right now is editing videos, uploading, you know, getting thumbnails ready, uploading, uh, uploading the videos, which take a long time, um, answering emails. I have uh, a, lot of, a lot of computer work to do, which is boring as hell, but I gotta do it. And I've already done a bunch of it. I've been up all morning, all, you know, early, early, working on all that. And um, yeah, I gotta do like an upgrade to Christian's computer. And you know, just you know, just a bunch of miscellaneous tasks. And then I got other things I gotta do. So I'll probably start recording a little bit more now that I'm getting a little more free time to record a little bit more of uh, my day as it goes on. But yeah, today, I mean, honestly, when I get home, I'm gonna, probably shower start editing this video so i can upload it get dinner you know we'll cook christian's cooking dinner so eat dinner oh i forgot her phone broke today so yeah her phone broke like a little while ago so after she finishes cooking dinner um i have to uh um she's gonna go um and get some uh she has to go and get herself uh, a new phone so so I'm gonna spend money on that now. But hey, thank God, you know that Uncle Biden, you know, thank God that Mr. Uncle Biden, you know, um, is gonna give us a nice stimulus check. Oh, wait a minute, what? So, okay, wait a minute. So today's Wednesday and they just signed it today. So wait, the check's not coming out today? Wait, this guy's gonna wait till Friday to sign them? So anyways, that's happening. So, yeah guys, I mean, that's basically it. So, as soon as that stimulus check comes, we're gonna get me a new computer, but 
you know, I, I, I still got to go buy herself a phone today. So, yeah, but we're not going to spend too much money, you know, to get a brand new phone, kick ass, you know, um, we're going to spend 4,000 pesos. Well, that's her budget. I'm going to give her 4,000 pesos, and that's like around $200. She should be able to get a good phone with that. That's how much my phone costs. It's pretty great. No complaints. And that's it. So, you know, we're going to have her do that. And again, it's good to be in that position, you know, um, where something like that happens and no panic, you know, we can fix it, no problem. And that's it. That's all she wrote. So, all right, guys, I'm going to get the hell out of here. We're basically almost home. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's very long episode as we rode around Merida talking about the things that are happening here. And uh, this is only the beginning of that conversation because this is going to be a very you know very uh, complicated issue going forward because there's a lot of you guys that are moving out here and uh so you know most of you guys are gonna be okay but there's a lot of you guys that are moving out here um and um don't know of these changes that are coming up and maybe maybe another part of mexico might be right for you just like it is for me and all that good stuff so we'll see we'll, we'll uh we'll we'll be exploring all this together so with that being said guys I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. You already know what to do. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please step bell like on, but more importantly than anything else, please stay awesome. Thanks again for watching and uh, see you guys on the next one. Bye.